Have you ever had someone so close to you that you dreamt every day of achieving something great together? Well, meet Ronnie and Donny Gallion, two conjoined twin brothers who dared to dream the impossible dream, breaking the record set by Chang and Eng Bunker, the oldest living conjoined twins who passed away in 1878 at the age of 62. Since then, no other conjoined twins have managed to surpass their remarkable longevity. But Ronnie and Donnie were determined to change that narrative and reach even greater heights. But let's be real, folks. This wasn't an average stroll in the park, breaking a record set in stone for more than a century. That's no small feat. Challenges lurked around every corner. But did these resilient twins even entertain the thought of giving up? Not a chance. In today's mind-bending video, we're delving deep into the extraordinary lives of Ronnie and Donny Gallion. These brothers, with their distinctly unique personalities, faced a journey filled with trials and tribulations, yet they never wavered in their resolve. From the moment of their conception to their final moments on this earth, their story is one of resilience, courage, and the unwavering bonds of brotherhood. But breaking records wasn't the only challenge they faced. Alongside their struggles, their loving siblings also navigated the complexities of supporting two individuals who shared not only a physical bond, but also an unbreakable emotional connection. Their journey is a testament to the power of love, family, and the indomitable human spirit. So, are you ready to embark on this inspiring and heartwarming journey? Join us as we uncover the remarkable tale of the oldest conjoined twins in the world, Ronnie and Donnie Gallion. It's a story that will leave you both astonished and uplifted, reminding us all of the extraordinary potential of the human heart and the resilience of the human spirit. So, without further ado, let's dive into the extraordinary lives of Ronnie and Donnie Gallion. Get ready to be captivated inspired and moved beyond measure. Let's begin. Imagine the serendipitous surprise that unfolded in the humble halls of St. Elizabeth Hospital in Dayton, Ohio, on a crisp autumn day on October 28, 1951. It was a day like any other, or so it seemed until fate decided to play its hand in the most remarkable of ways. You see, Wesley and Eileen Gallion a couple brimming with anticipation as they awaited the arrival of their newest addition to the family. Little did they know, however, that their lives were about to be forever changed in the most extraordinary fashion imaginable. Eileen wasn't expecting twins. Imagine the shock and awe when Ronnie and Donnie Gallion made their grand entrance into the world on October 28th. It's like the universe decided to sprinkle a bit of extra magic that day. Now, let's talk about Ronnie and Donnie themselves. These two weren't just your average twins. No, folks, they were a phenomenon, a marvel of nature. Born conjoined at the waist, they shared a body, but had their unique personalities, dreams, and aspirations. Their story isn't just about the physical bond that held them together. It's about the unbreakable spirit that defined them. Growing up, they faced challenges that most of us couldn't even fathom. Yet, through it all, they radiated positivity, resilience, and an unwavering determination to live life on their terms. Let's now talk about the anatomy of Ronnie and Donnie Gallion and how life was for them after their birth. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Ronnie and Donnie Gallion were two brothers not just connected by blood, but by flesh as well. From the sternum to the groin, they were joined, sharing a set of organs, including a singular bladder and, astonishingly, one penis. Can you believe it? Now imagine the dilemma their parents faced. Two years spent in the tense corridors of the hospital where every heartbeat could mean life or death. Doctors, the custodians of hope, determined that attempting to separate them would be a fatal gamble. The stakes, 
their very lives. Yeah, you heard right. Any attempt whatsoever to separate Ronnie and Donnie would mean the end for both Ronnie and Donnie. Heartbreakingly, their parents had to accept this reality. But what unfolded afterward was a tale that would tug at even the toughest heartstrings. With no separation possible, the twins embarked on a journey marked by struggle and pain. Their parents, determined to give them a chance at a normal life, enrolled them in school. Can you imagine their first day? It was a scene straight out of a nightmare. Ronnie and Donnie were relegated to the back of the class, away from the curious gazes of their peers, but eyes still followed their every move, whispers trailed in their wake, and the weight of isolation settled upon their young shoulders like a suffocating blanket. The stares, the whispers, were like daggers to their young hearts, and the teachers, unknowingly perhaps, treated them differently, adding to their burden. Can you feel the weight of their isolation? Despite their parents' efforts to find acceptance elsewhere, the doors of education remained firmly shut. Schools, the bastions of knowledge and enlightenment, deemed them distractions, denying them the fundamental right to learn and grow. And so, their minds remained imprisoned in the shackles of illiteracy, a lifelong sentence imposed by a society blinded by fear and prejudice. And so, Ronnie and Donnie Gallion, bound by a bond that defied comprehension, faced a future marred by hardship and limited opportunity. Theirs is a story of resilience in the face of adversity, but also a stark reminder of the challenges that those deemed different must endure. It's a tale that tugs at the very core of our humanity, leaving us questioning the fairness of the world we inhabit. All right, let's spin this fascinating yet heartbreaking tale even further. Picture this. Back in the day, Ronnie and Donnie's parents were approached by show and carnival organizers who wanted them to showcase the twins as a spectacle. Can you believe that? Now, Wesley and Eileen, the parents, initially turned down the offer because they felt it would be too embarrassing for the family and the boys. But here's where things take a twist. Wesley, the father, had nine kids to support and times were tough. So, faced with the pressure of providing for his family, he made a tough decision. He decided to take Ronnie and Donnie on the road as a sideshow attraction. Imagine the weight of that decision, knowing it could potentially expose his sons to ridicule. Despite the initial reluctance and the challenges they faced, the twins embarked on a journey across the United States and later even ventured into Latin America, Mexico and Canada. They became sort of celebrities, drawing crowds wherever they went. And you know what's remarkable. Through their tours, they were able to support their family financially. It's a story of sacrifice, resilience, and the power of family love. Can you imagine the courage it took for Wesley and Eileen to make that decision? And the strength Ronnie and Donnie must have had to face the world as a spectacle, all for the sake of their family. It's truly a captivating tale that reminds us of the extraordinary lengths people will go to for the ones they love. In 1991, after rocking the entertainment scene for a whopping three decades, this dynamic duo decided to hang up their hats and retire. But retirement didn't mean fading into obscurity for them. Oh no, they were just getting started with a new chapter in Dayton, Ohio. Now, get this they had earned enough to buy their very own place with the cash they raked in from their sideshow days. So, they settle into their new home, living that suburban dream, and guess what? They're not just sitting around twiddling their thumbs. Nope, they're diving heedfast into community life, making friends, and being just like any other folks out there by means of a donated custom double wheelchair that costs $60,000. But hold on to your seats, because retirement didn't mean disappearing from the limelight entirely. These two were still making waves on the screen, popping up on the Jerry Springer show in 1997, giving us all a glimpse into their extraordinary lives. And that's not all. 
There are documentaries galore from the Discovery Channel in 1998 to Channel 5 in 2009. They were still stealing the show, even from the comfort of their own home. Now here's where things get heartwarming. Even though they had settled in and started staying alone, their younger brother Jim and his wife Mary were still by their side, lending a helping hand whenever they needed it. It's that unwavering support that kept them going strong. In a candid interview back in 2009, these twins, Ronnie and Donnie, reveal a surprising vulnerability. Despite their larger-than-life personas, they admit to having fears just like the rest of other normal people. Thunderstorms, lightning strikes, yep, they were scared too. But you know what? With Jim still in their corner, they know they can weather any storm that comes their way. But while everything was looking okay, catastrophe struck. What happened? Don't worry, I won't leave you hanging. I'll tell you in just a moment, so endeavor to stick with me. The aspiration of Ronnie and Donnie to become the longest living conjoined twins faced a potential setback when they fell ill with a severe virus. Afflicted by a particularly intense bout of influenza and gastrointestinal issues, they found themselves immobilized as their legs ceased to function. Stranded without access to their phone in the kitchen, the twins could only hope for assistance to arrive promptly. Otherwise, their lives hung in the balance. Fortunately, fate intervened when a neighbor and friend, Scotty Grooms, happened to pass by their residence and sensed that something was amiss. Upon receiving no response after knocking on the door, Scotty swiftly dialed Jim for help. Jim, upon entering the premises, discovered his brothers incapacitated on the bathroom floor and immediately summoned aid. The task of transporting the brothers to the hospital proved challenging, requiring the effort of six individuals to lift them onto a stretcher for urgent medical attention. However, apart from the virus and dehydration, the brothers encountered additional peril. Medical professionals swiftly identified that Ronnie had formed blood clots in all of his limbs, including both legs and his left arm. Moreover, these clots were spreading to his lungs, leading to a critical condition known as pulmonary embolism. Essentially, if the embolism progresses, Ronnie's ability to receive oxygen would be compromised, potentially resulting in cardiac arrest. Although only Ronnie was afflicted with pulmonary embolism, both brothers shared the same bloodstream, thereby sharing each other's ailments. While Ronnie battled his illness, Donnie could only cling to hope and pray for his brother's recovery. Doctors advised against performing surgery to remove the blood clot for Ronnie and Donnie as it posed a significant risk of fatality. Instead, the twins underwent three weeks of intensive care treatment with blood thinners. Despite Donnie being perfectly healthy, he had to remain still and quiet while Ronnie received attention. Ronnie experienced fear, tears and emotional distress throughout the ordeal. Both twins understood that if one were to pass away, the other could not survive for long, potentially succumbing within a day or even a week, depending on the situation. But then in this most trying moment, there was a sudden glimmer of hope. Ronnie began to recover and got well soon. The twin brothers were discharged. What a joy for the family. But Jim, the brother of the conjoined twins, Ronnie and Donnie, was not okay with the twin brothers living alone. Even though he had hired some healthcare workers to assist the brothers, he was still not satisfied because his brother's house had become very small because they had added weight and their customized wheelchair couldn't pass through some doors on the house. Also, as the twins got older, Donnie's back bent more away from Ronnie, causing him to hit his head more often. Therefore, Jim wanted his twin brothers to live with him. But then, there was a challenge. His house was small and not big enough for them so he thought of building an extension for his brothers. However, he had no money. He tried to take a loan, but was turned down. 
Then a friend of Ronnie and Donnie, Barbara Feldman, decided to help the brothers find a charity that would fund the construction of their new home. She started searching for charity organizations. Many turned her down, but she didn't relent. She just kept searching. Finally, she found a charity that agreed to help in the construction. The Christian Youth Corps in New York decided to help and swung into action immediately. They hired an architect to draw plans for an addition or extension that will double the square footage of Jim and Mary's home. It would have to be custom built to suit Ronnie and Donnie's unique needs. Once this idea was proposed to the community, there were several that jumped on board immediately. They wanted very much to be a part of this project. Yeah, the whole community joined the construction. There were a lot of volunteers and a lot of people donating money, building materials and their precious time for free. Jim and Mary were delighted by the prospect of providing Ronnie and Donnie with a new residence that would afford them greater independence and enjoyment in life. Unlike their current dwelling, the forthcoming extension to their home would boast complete wheelchair accessibility throughout, ensuring unhindered movement for the twins in every area. This meant they could carry out everyday tasks such as using the shower or bathroom with ease, free from the inconvenience of doors, obstructing their path or posing any safety hazards. Additionally, the tailor-made addition featured a spacious combined living area and bedroom, as well as a lower level game room, rendering the new abode both practical and aesthetically pleasing. Notably, it also boasted a state-of-the-art automated transportation system, allowing the twins to navigate the house effortlessly at the touch of a button without requiring assistance from others. Finally, the twins, Ronnie and Donnie, moved into their new apartment in 2010 and they were so grateful for everyone's commitment to build the house for them. At least with the house they would likely live longer and achieve the dream of breaking the record of Chang and Eng Bunker, the oldest living conjoined twins who passed away in 1878 at the age of 62. At last, on 29 October 2014, Ronnie and Donnie possessed the world record for the longest lived conjoined twins in history when they surpassed prior record holders Chang and Eng Bunker. Isn't this fascinating? But then the final straw that broke the camel's back was yet to occur. Something very tragic happened 10 years later after the twins moved into their new home. What happened? Let's talk about it right away. On July 4th, 2020, the twins died of congestive heart failure in a hospice surrounded by their family in their native Dayton, Ohio. Their brother Jim, in an interview, said he was grateful to the community for what they did to help Ronnie and Donnie move into their new house. Jim asserted that the new house allowed Ronnie and Donnie to live with their family for their last 10 years, the final decade of their resilient life. A custom-built casket was carefully made for the twins, and on July 31st, 2020, Ronnie and Donnie were buried at Newcomer Cremations Funerals. What a sad, yet inspiring end. So, as we reflect on these twins' remarkable journey, let's not just remember Ronnie and Donnie Gallion as the world's longest living conjoined twins. Let's celebrate them as beacons of hope, symbols of resilience, and living proof that love knows no bounds. Their legacy will forever echo through the corridors of history, inspiring generations to come to embrace life's challenges with open arms and indomitable spirit. Never give up in the face of any adversity whatsoever. Now, the spotlight is on you. What insights or questions did this video spark in you? What do you think of the story of Ronnie and Donnie Gallion, the challenges they passed through? What do you think of their family and friends' unconditional love and the resilient spirits these twins showed? Despite all odds, they still achieved their dreams. Isn't that inspiring? Share your thoughts and insights in the comments below. Your perspective adds richness to our discussion 
and fuels further exploration into these captivating topics. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, keep your opinions rolling, and remember to keep seeking out the wonders that make our world endlessly fascinating. If you find this video informative or enlightening, kindly click the subscribe and like button to stay tuned for more mind-blowing videos. To get notifications every time we upload new videos, don't forget to turn on the notification bell. I appreciate your time and hope to see you in the next video.